It is said that two and a quarter billion cups of coffee are consumed every day worldwide. That's 26,041 cups of coffee being drunk every second of every day. That's a lot of coffee. The world clearly loves coffee. I'm Jake the Voice Power, and here are 10 of the most interesting facts about this hugely popular beverage. There is a terrific legend that it was a 9th century Ethiopian goat herder called Kaldi who noticed the effect that coffee had on his goats. The goats seemed to dance and get all jumpy after eating coffee berries. A local monk decided to make a drink with the coffee berries and found that it kept him awake all night. And so, the very first cup of coffee had been made. It makes sense that it might have been there that coffee was discovered, given that to this day, among the best coffee beans come from Ethiopia. It's fitting that the cradle of coffee occurred in Africa, the cradle of mankind. Coffee is very often referred to as Java or a cup of joe. The origin of the word Java is simple. When it first became popular, coffee was mostly found and cultivated on the Indonesian island of Java, so the name stuck. Why it's called a cup of joe is far more contentious. Some linguists believe it could be a corruption of the word jamoke, which was itself a combination of the words java and mocha. Coffee historians believe it could have been a reference to it being the beverage of ordinary people, that is, an average joe. Call it java, call it joe, it's coffee all the same. Many people do not realize it, but coffee is actually a fruit and not a bean. What are known as coffee beans are actually the pits of a cherry-like berry that grows on stunted-looking bushes of the coffea plant. Once the berries are red or purplish and nicely plump, they are picked, processed, and dried. They are then roasted to varying degrees depending on the flavor that is desired. The only reason that they are called coffee beans is because they are similar in shape to beans. So think of coffee as just another fruit juice. Black Ivory Coffee is considered the world's most expensive coffee brand. It can retail for up to an astonishing $700 per pound. It is produced from Arabica coffee beans that might have been eaten and digested by elephants and then collected from their waste. You heard that right, they are collected from the dung of elephants. It is said to be exceptionally smooth due to the fermentation process that occurs inside the elephant and which break down the enzymes that make the coffee bitter. Little wonder that it's a very rare coffee. Americans love their coffee. According to the International Coffee Organization, about 45% of coffee in the world is drank in the US. However, on a per capita basis, the US ranks only 22nd in the world, with an annual average of 8.8 .8 pounds of coffee drank per American. That doesn't begin to compare with the biggest coffee drinking nation in the world, which is Finland. On average, Finns drink over 21 pounds of coffee a year. That's two and a half times more than the average American. Finland got hooked on coffee when alcohol was once banned in the country. Those are some serious caffeine addicts. The modern webcam is everywhere, but have any idea what the world's first remote camera was for? Security at a bank, you might think? Well, in 1991, scientists at Cambridge University invented the world's first webcam to watch a coffee pot located in another part of the building because they didn't want to walk to the pot if it was empty. Therefore, the first cam streamed over the internet was a coffee cam, all thanks to some lazy scientists who needed their coffee fix. Irish coffee was invented in the 1940s by Joe Sheridan, a head chef from Country Limerick in Ireland. He decided to add whiskey to hot coffee and offered it to American tourists who had arrived in Ireland on a particularly cold and dreary winter's night on a Pam and boat plane. Sheridan immediately dubbed it Irish coffee, and the passengers obviously loved it. Irish coffee was first served in the United States in 1952 at the Buena Vista Cafe in San Francisco. The Irish gave the word what is undoubtedly the most popular coffee-based cocktail. 
There have been various attempts to ban coffee. It was first banned in the city of Mecca in 1511 because religious leaders believed that it stimulated radical thinking. In 1623, the Ottoman leader Murad IV created the first punishments for coffee drinkers, which included being beaten up and even thrown into the sea. In 16th century Italy, clergymen successfully banned coffee because they believed it was the drink of the devil. However, Pope Clement VII loved coffee so much that he reversed the ban and even had coffee baptized in 1600. The first coffee filter was invented by a housewife in Dresden, Germany called Melitta Benz. Frau Benz was tired of the coffee that was gritty and also bitter. She needed boiling water to be poured over ground coffee, resulting in a filtered liquid without coffee grinds and bitterness. She found the best material to use was the blotting paper her son used for school. She patented her coffee filter and filter paper in June 1908 and started the Melitta Benz Company with her husband later that year. The rest, as they say, is coffee history. Coffee may be great for that much-needed morning pick-me-up, but good old Java has many other benefits and uses. In terms of health, numerous studies have shown that coffee helps to prevent Alzheimer's, heart disease, gout, and type 2 diabetes. It's also helpful in combating Parkinson's disease, although strangely, only for men. For beauty, it is also known to be an excellent moisturizer and exfoliator, whilst any gardener will tell you it's excellent as a fertilizer. It is even said that coffee can make your hair shine. All in all, there's a lot to appreciate when it comes to coffee. Those then are 10 of the most interesting facts about coffee. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out our other top lists. Thank you very much for watching and thanks for learning.